And next I have Chloe. We're gonna give them what they want. When Abby revealed the center row of the pyramid and it was Chloe and Maddie, I was shocked. I didn't think Peyton performed well enough to be at the top of the pyramid. Chloe, when you walk backstage into those wings, you have to walk in there with arrogance and your nose up in the air just like you walk in this studio every day. Those other girls should be afraid of you just because you're Chloe and you're from the Abby Lee Dance Company. And on top of the pyramid, Is Brooke. <laughs> Abby unveils the top of the pyramid, and I thought, you get him, sister, because you left and you went and you tried out for cheerleading and you still made it to the top of the pyramid. No offense to Peyton, but she towers over this dance team. She doesn't fit in with these girls. Now, my little Kendall fits right in perfectly. I know you all were wondering. How could she be on top of the pyramid? Not only is she going to do a solo this week, and not only should she win, I demand that you win. Peyton, we all know everyone is replaceable. You were not the right replacement for this group. You had a great experience. You saw the gateway to the West. You cannot be upset. She Ruin has a right to be upset, Abby. You dangled a carrot in front of her and you just ripped it away. For what? For her? to just come in and take a spot as a stranger, and for Brooke to leave and you take her back? Where is your loyalty? We have been so loyal to you. Loyalty. She stepped in. Wait a minute. Oh, Wait a minute. loyalty, Kelly? We have been loyal Leslie, to her for so long. She left her one week. doesn't want to you do that. You left the studio a long time ago. How dare you? Our history. How dare me? Peyton got to go to St. Louis. She got to be in the competition. Peyton was on probation. You can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. So. You are still on probation. It was not about being on the team forever. Somehow her mother got that all twisted in her mind. You know what, Abby? If you don't want her, we will find somebody that wants her to compete on their team. Peyton, let's go. You can keep your candle, and you can keep the rest of your group. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. End of story. Bye. And I can't believe Leslie thought how Peyton about was going to be at all. I felt bad for Peyton. Are you kidding me? Why would you feel bad for her? Because she's she got a, a great opportunity. opportunity. She's not a baby. Listen, my kid was in there. She's eight years old. She was on probation. She had to earn her spot. Apparently, when Jill got off of probation, it was really her mouth that got off of probation. Oh. I am so happy that Brooke is back. Me too. I am too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she has to win or oh, she's done. I sure. know. I think Abby is being very tough on Brooke. I mean, she puts her to the top of the pyramid and says that she has to win. Brooke hasn't danced in two weeks. She has four days to learn her dance. I mean, how much more pressure can you put on the kid? There is no way Brooke, sorry, should have been on top of that pyramid. There is no way to talk, Joe. No. Now that Kendall is off probation, I'm not going to hold back my thoughts anymore. Personally, I think Maddie should have been on top because she won. Maddie also won because Abby spent all of her time rehearsing her number. She didn't rehearse the group number. She didn't rehearse the trio. The only thing she cared about was Maddie's solo. Sorry, Melissa. It's the truth. I'm calling a spade a spade. I have to say oh, that I'm that glad the trio She's didn't got win. a point. I, I knew that I was coming. Say, I'm very happy that that trio didn't win. The trio really didn't work well together. And if they had just one more week, I guarantee it would win the next time out. Kendall can do everything that those girls are doing. I'm disappointed that Kendall does not have a special part. All right, girls. Now you're going against each other. What's it like going against somebody that's going to the Grammys? I'm nervous because <laughs> she has amazing technique. Got to keep her on her toes, right? If I didn't keep pushing Maddie, she wouldn't be where she is today. Brynn is doing a piece called Diamond in the Rough because I think that's what Brynn is. She has all this talent, but the experience isn't there yet. By putting her against Maddie this week, I hope Brynn will live up to her potential. We're gonna start with uh, Brynn. Boom, feet together, a reach out, cross over, up and down. Robert. Okay. Can you just push right off that and inside leg turn is it the wrong way? Good. Okay, that's what I like. Just tell them what to do and they do it. See, now Nia was in here. We have to change it 14 times because she couldn't do that. Something's going on here. 
Now that's Abby. Abby always says that when someone new comes in, she cannot wait but just to give accolade upon accolade, praise upon praise, and lavish them with all of this like, over the top. Brain, you've inspired me. But is it real or is it fake? Why would she be fake? Let's put it this way. You're not the first one she's told that to. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. You know, you guys feel intimidated by the fact that Abby likes Bryn so much? I don't think it's intimidation. No, I'm happy you're here. I told JoJo, I said, Abby won't be mean in front of Bryn. I don't feel threatened by Bryn and her mom, but I feel territorial. We are ALDC dancers, so for a new kid, to come in and get a solo. That's a solo that maybe one of Abby's kids could have. Maybe even Kendall could have that solo. I think she wants Brett to stay. She's gonna yeah. suck up to you. <laughs> the first few weeks are always nice. Mm -hmm. We call it the honeymoon phase. Ashley, come down here. Mm, welcome okay. up with that. So, I think your daughter has a special gift. God made her to dance. Brent, I don't say that to too many kids, and I see a lot of kids in this country. I think you have something really, really special. You have a solo. It's going to be amazing if you nail it. You don't want to be the one this week that goes to the competition, is in the front line, is the whole big thing, has a solo, and makes a mistake. Because they will nail you to the wall. Maddie, you better get your bike gear. This week, we're not worried about the Grammys. We are worried about fate number one. Go ahead. Maddie is being pulled in so many directions right now. The Grammys, acting jobs. I'm afraid that sometimes you rest on your laurels. Don't drop off that supporting heel, you know that correction. She needs to worry about the competition at hand because Brynn is going up against her. And Brynn is young and hungry, and she has everything that Maddie doesn't. She has the legs, she has the feet, she has the flexibility. So yesterday, what was your chat? Like, with Abby, what were you guys talking about? She was, like, this guy gushing just nice things about Britain. She was like, this child was put on this earth to dance. She just really was just on and on about how perfectly she was built for this and how badly she really wanted to work with her, so. Wow. Uh, it's definitely nice. Well, it's interesting that Abby has given Brent all those accolades, and then she continues to tear down the kids on her team. Brenda's not her student. She's a guest to speak on her team. What do you think of Brenda's solo? I don't know, I, I like this solo. I'm kind of curious, I mean, because everybody set it up to like, oh, she doesn't have a shot, she doesn't have a shot, she doesn't have a shot, but I don't know. I think there's a, a chance. Wait, so wait, just so I get this straight, you think she has a shot at beating Maddie? Maddie is Abby's queen bee. She is not gonna let some kid from another studio waltz in here and beat Maddie. It's just not gonna happen. Although Bryn is amazing and Abby stood there and put her on this pedestal, she was put on this earth to what, whatever, all that, it only promotes Maddie more because she's not gonna beat Maddie. Hmm. Well. She's not. So that's her way of saying she's really good, but, and. She's buttering you up. Yeah. Our next entry, entry number 99. Please welcome to the stage, Vertigo. Maddie's not the same kid she was last year. She's on this new show, on that new show. She's doing interviews, she's doing magazine spreads. There's a lot happening in this kid's life. So her training has suffered. I need Maddie to focus because Brynn is going up against her and she is definitely a threat. For you.
She very well could be first next time. And first place. In the overall high school solo duo trio. Goes to answer number 99, Vertigo! So the overall high score solo goes to Maddie for Vertigo. I can count on her, putting her heart and her soul into whatever we give her. That's important. Okay, you gotta straighten that knee. You need to sit down and look at him with your lips way out, like you are going to kiss him, and then you turn away. The other routine I have this week is a duet. Maddie will be doing a musical theater routine with Gino. This whole concept was inspired by my appearance on Dancing with the Stars. Partner work is new to Maddie. She has to do a lot of acting. And if Maddie wants to be a star, she has to own this role. Boom, in, back, right there. You gotta kiss him. I have to wait till you're on stage. <laughs> Should you wait till you're on stage? I shouldn't have my first kiss like this, and especially in a dance. It's just horrible. Ready? So, da -da -da down, up. Come on, this is it. We gotta get out of this room. Gotta just kiss him. She's embarrassed. Yeah. Kissing a boy. Maddie's shy around boys, and now she has to kiss Gino. I know she can do it. It's just a peck, and she just has to get it out of her mind. I just don't want you to do it on stage and it be awkward and you lose and we don't win the number. All right, we only have a few minutes, so if she's not going to do it, Kendall and Chloe would have done it. Oh, Kendall will kiss them. Just say it. Just turn the music on. Can I this? Put the back in. I did not sign up to kiss Gino, and it's a little awkward for me because he likes me. There you go. That's what you need to do. Aw, Maddie and Abby both had their 
first kiss in the same day. That's kind of sweet, twins. Come on, we gotta get out of this room. She's got that part of being my girl. Just gotta be kissed. Oh yeah. That chick sure getting kissed. <laughs> <laughs> Kissing Gino in the studio is not what I envisioned for my first kiss. If it was Zac Efron, I would kiss him. But not Gino. You had your first kiss! Before me! <laughs> no, it wasn't really. No, but that's a kiss! Does Gino love it? Is, he, is it everything he thought it would be? Maddie yeah. loves it. This chick is him. They're really good together. Look at her, she likes it. She loves it. How would you all feel you if, if so? Gina were to join the team? Oh, I think it would be an amazing addition to the team. I think it's a change of pace, to be honest with uh -huh. you, to have a boy here. What is up with Mickey and Christy? You know, Abby's made no mention of a permanent position on this team that she's looking to fill. Abby changes her mind every week. They're guests. Is it moms? Gonna see Gina and talk to Abby. Okay, be right back. Can I sit at your left hand side for a second? I wanted to hear your impression as you see them. Da, da, you, wanna, da, da. you wanna watch? I don't know how Mickey can go down in that studio and not get yelled at. She's smiling. This chick is him. He does these straight. And if she takes you on her ride, it's well, about the kiss. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Guys. Your dad wants me to show you the kiss with him. It has to be more expressive. And the faces when you kiss, you have to make sure that. Oh, they're reenacting the kiss? Ah! That was great. Thank you. That was great. Man, people have done crazy things to get on this team, but that might be the winner. Let me tell you, Gina would bring a new flair to, well, to absolutely. this team. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, Nikki, do you think it's competitive against what Kathy's doing this week with her group? Well, yeah, because I know exactly what she's doing. OK, so what is it then? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. You have all the answers. I don't. Mickey's a charmer. And according to the Bible, a charmer is a deceiver. This guy's a fake. He is in it all for himself. As far as I'm concerned, those two boys do not belong here, and they need to hightail it back to Miami. What are you here for? Are you trying to get that spot on the team? Because you do know that that spot is for Sarah. Whatever Gina wants, to be honest with you. Gina would love it, no doubt about it. I It'd think. It'd be a nice addition. My intentions are proper. We'll see. Oh, she's so cute! Oh. Yay! Look Yay. how gorgeous that is! Oh my gosh, razzle dazzle! I'm feeling very confident. Alyssa and Evan are very well rehearsed. The duet is a hands down winner. Yes! Oh, see, that was nice. Can we do it one more time? Come on, Gina, we need you here. Yeah, more face. And I want to see everything, and I want you to, that face to be almost obnoxious. Come on. It's very clear that Abby is panicked. She is worried that Maddie and Gina are going to get beat. And we are watching Abby implode right before our eyes. Maddie, get up in your feet higher on that back walk. I need more face from you. Gina, more face on all of that. Come on, flirt. It's going to be about the face. It's going to be about the emotion. And it's about you being better than whatever girl's over there. And it's about you being better than whatever boy's over there. You've been wanting this for a long time. Yes? Make it count. Let's go. About face. Yeah. It's about selling and connecting with the judges. This is going to be a true test for Maddie and Gino. They need to nail this kiss because John has some great duets. Next to stage act number 15, a lyrical duet. Please welcome Alyssa and Evan performing Stars Alive.
always wanted you to know. Yeah, that was act number 15, Stars Alive. Candy Apple's duet was beautiful. John did an amazing job. I'm really nervous. Maddie's never competed in the duet with a boy. Maddie and Gino have to really step up their game and use their faces if they want to win. I'm very nervous to go up against Candy Apples. I've never done a girl and a boy duet before. We just really need to pull it together. This is Gino and Maddie performing. Uh, this girl has got to be kissed. Let me tell you a story. That lass has class. This chick is hip. And when she's passing by, you know it's so hard not to stare. Those lips, those hips, beyond compare. That sway so gently as they twist. And it still adds up to just one thing Yeah, that girl's just gotta be She's got that part of being My girl's just gotta be kissed Oh yeah, she's gotta be kissed Make no mistake about it That chick sure getting kissed that was number 16. The girl's gotta be kissed. Is it good? Yeah. Your love is so cute. What? Ew. I don't like him that way. I think Maddie was a pro. She went out there, she handled the acting. She handled the partner work. Wish I could say the same about Gino. Now that other duet, they were amazing. I just hope that the judges were watching my Maddie and not Gino or we're in big trouble. I think Gino and Maddie will beat that duet. I really do. I think they were better, they were more entertaining. I think he's a cute kid, and I think he's very masculine on stage, but I think he chokes a little bit. I don't think he brings it. I thought that he did pretty good. Well, your opinion means nothing. Thank you, Abby, I really appreciate that. His face didn't get one bit better than it was in here. Second place. Act number 16, this girl's just gotta be kissed. And your first overall winner is act number 15, Stars Align. It feels good enough to win, but to beat Abby's golden child, Maddie, that is fantastic. Gino in that duet. I don't need Maddie to be second. The team is thrilled because the group won and our losing streak is over. But Abby doesn't care about that. Maddie lost. And that's all that matters to Abby. I just wouldn't want to be Gino right now. I have come to a decision in my mind. And I'm going to go ahead and send Gino and his stuff. And I need to have you leave immediately. What do you mean by that? He was brought into my studio as a guest. OK. Mickey, I think Abby has seen the light. Shut up already. Oh, she's not saying anything <laughs> like that. He was fabulous. There's nothing wrong with him. He's a good kid. Thank you anyway. Goodbye. Bye, Bye girls. Good luck. Bye, Mickey. Bye, ladies. Call me. Shut Please. up. Bye, Gino. It took me an entire week to get Abby on my side to see where I was coming from with Mickey and Gino. And finally, she gets rid of those two for good. And they're crying their eyes out. Aside of the fact that I hate you and I can't stand you, what's happening? What's going on with Gino? Why don't we just tell you everything? Well, go ahead. He was just a guest for the week. Yeah. Mm, just a guest for the week. Well, Kathy, this clearly needs to be something you need to talk to Abby about. OK, well, since I'm not getting anything out of you guys, I'll move along. I have lunch to eat. <laughs> you could probably skip a meal. Oh, please. The fat people that you have on your team? And furthermore, Christy, your butt's looking like a $40 cow. It's a $40 cow. Maybe once they put the costumes oh. on, they will be able to have more fun with it and get into the character. Yeah. Sometimes you I need the, the costume. 
Look, I love that. Opening up a little package is like Christmas. Sarah, you don't have a costume. We're trying to get another one made. You weren't supposed to be in the group. It was just the original five. And I kept you, and that's the problem. This is not right. All right, call your mom. Just get him down here. Come on, let's go, let's go. These are gorgeous. You like them? Love them. All right, Abby, what are we doing about her costume? You need to pray to the UPS God or pray to the FedEx God, whatever. I know I you don't, don't believe in all other those God, other gods. I don't the God, so well, they don't have to pray. He better FedEx that costume here fast. Abby, there better be a costume. She better be in the number. That's all I have to say. It's not fair, Abby. Life is not fair. Obviously, in the Abby Lee Dance Company, it's not fair. But let's get the story straight. Sarah is not in the Junior Elite competition team. So when I ordered the costumes, I didn't have one made for her. So lo and behold, I'm able to get her one. It should get here. And if it doesn't, she'll go away with us. She'll go to the competition. She'll live. She'll learn. That itself is an education. It's the world according to Abby. It's Unfortunately, not Abby, you're not God. So it's not the world according to Abby. Well, in this studio, Guess what? Guess what? You know what my thoughts are on that? I think this studio needs revamped, and I think the garbage needs to be taken out, and I think that starts with you. OK, Sarah, you're finished. Goodbye. I am not going to put up with any parent coming in here calling me a name. It's never the kid's fault, but somehow the kid always ends up paying for the parent's mistakes. If you can go by yourself on the bus, then you can go, all right? Sarah is so upset. And at this point, I really don't know what to say to her. I can't do it. I couldn't give Sarah over. She is homeschooled. She has been with us since birth. I can't just trust the fact that they're going to take care of her. You know, and I can, honey. I can't let you go. I can't stand Christy. However, I would take Sarah on the bus and take her under my wing. I think that she's holding Sarah back. If I would have done that with my kids and held their hand every inch of the way, they would have never gotten this far. You're nine years old. Kids okay. go away with me when they're like seven and eight by themselves. They'll be fine. You're gonna be with the kids. We're gonna get off. We're gonna eat dinner. No, we're gonna maybe go to a movie or something, or you're, you're gonna go to bed and get ready for the competition. She doesn't want to let me go. She just yeah. drives herself. She's going to. She is. It's a real shame. Sarah could be a great dancer. Hopefully, her mother will realize that she needs to let the child become independent and let her grow as a dancer. Because right now, I'm finished with Sarah. I'm sorry, honey. The minis are back but not all of them. I think they cracked under pressure and left. As luck would have it, there is another crazy mother with three daughters. She thinks they would be the perfect fit for my team. I'll give her kids a shot at an audition. Of course I will. Hi, I'm Holly. Jeannie, nice to meet you. So are you taking class here? Um, well, Abby called and she wanted us to come visit. I'm Jeannie and I have three younger girls. Coco is the youngest. She is seven, and then Rihanna's the middle child, nine, and Kaylee is 11. We're from Southern California, and we're really well-respected. We're loved in the dance community. Oh, look, the other mini moms are here. Hi, you guys. Where's the rest of your squad at? It's SS3. Who's missing? Uh, Mary. And Lynn. And Jeannie. Oh, I'm Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Right off the bat, I recognize this woman, and I know her from a studio that Ari used to dance at. I remember that she's a crazy dance mom. She thinks her kids are the bomb, basically. Do you have any idea what team they're going to dance on? Mini. She did not say. I don't know. Abby, where, where's Kaylee dancing? She's dancing with the minis. The minis? Yes. They need somebody older in their group, because they're goofballs. In this mini team, there's some 9 and 10-year-olds, but they're not advanced enough to carry the whole team. So I'm hoping the big one, who is 11, will step up and become a leader of that mini team. Do you care that you're dancing with the minis? Or do, would kind you? Of. Kind of, yeah. You'd rather dance with the older ones. Look at that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know, honey. OK. You can be the leader of the group, OK? All right. 
So Jeannie, how do you feel about her dancing with six and seven year olds? I mean, I think Kaylee should hang with the older team personally. I think that technically she's at that level. Okay. Bottom. I think this is funny. Jeannie really thought that Kaylee was gonna dance with the juniors, but she's not. She's with our minis, and at least we have a team this week. Passe, run, run, jete, step through. Arms up, down. I really like this dance. I think it's adorable. I think that coat is adorable. I would actually wear that. I, I think I really would. I'm glad the minis are back this week, and I'm hoping that Abby will officially make us the mini team. One, two, Kaylee, our arms are here. You're doing it wrong every time. What's that face with that one? She's rolling her eyes and stuff. You better tell her to stop because she's, she's gonna get in trouble. She's making herself look like a, like a brat. She's taking off her jacket. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna watch this unfold. Um, just like speechless. Your daughter doesn't want to wear the jacket. She's just hot with the jacket. Look at her. Look, she's just standing there. She's not even doing it. She's supposed to be the new leader. She's the oldest one. And this is not something that I want my six-year-old looking up to. Abby needs to know that this kid doesn't want to be here. She thinks she's too good for the mini team. I think she just wants to dance with the junior team. All right, girls, be really scary monsters. Why doesn't she have this jacket on? Abby handed it to her. You're on linemen. Your leg goes in front of you, not out to the side, girls. All right, Gianna, let them take their jacks off and breathe a little bit. Do you need like a mother-daughter moment with her, maybe? Just to check in? So how's it going? Are you having fun? No. Not the other mothers that are they're sitting over there said that they didn't think that you were trying hard or cared. Well, what 11-year-old would be happy that they're doing a monster dance? <laughs> I've never done a dance this cheesy for some reason. You could tell that she thinks she's better than everybody else, and that's a problem. I'm dancing with six-year-olds. Sometimes you have to wear things or do things you don't actually like, but you play the part. If she doesn't get her bad attitude in check, then we're in really big trouble. Abby, I watched her teach. I mean, she is giving good corrections. She is strict. She seems like a good teacher. No. I think it's funny that that woman yesterday, her daughters had an attitude. She was rude, she rolled her eyes. And would it be a team player? Have any of our kids ever did that? No. Your kid has been in so many goofy things and she doesn't roll her eyes. Never, she's yeah. happy. When Kaylee didn't get invited to dance with the big kids, I think that was the turning point. That was all downhill after that. I know of Jeannie because the dance world is fairly small. And from what I've heard about Jeannie is she's kind of a trash talker. Well, this is what she posted on social media. It says, we came to visit to see how true the rumors were about her. We love a studio with positive environment and a fun place to take class. If she can't provide that, we can't compete or give our skills to Abby if we witness bad behavior. We believe in setting an example for other kids. Hashtag strong kids walk away. Hashtag always stand up for what is right. That's basically saying, your, our kids are not strong enough to walk away from this. You can't put that stuff out there like that. It's so ignorant, it's so rude, and it's just not honest. Wow. We really came by to, to say that I had a discussion with the girls if they wanted to continue on and finish this week, and they said that they want to leave. You should hashtag Finish what you start. You don't pull them out and blame everybody else for your problem. Am I the only if person that's been to ALDC that has left? It doesn't matter. It's what you're doing. Well, we're talking what about, about Chloe. Your... You, don't you don't know the whole story. I mean, don't go there. Hi, girls. Why don't you guys go on in and stretch, OK? So um, we'll let Jeannie tell you. No, we've seen already. You've already have it all over social media. I'm so upset because it's the day before competition, and now you're skipping out. Bottom she thought her kids were going to be on the junior team. Your kid thought she was too good to be in there. That's yes. not true. I saw her roll her eyes several times. Your nasty, snotty teaches your children to be a nasty, snotty kid. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want to stay. 
We don't like Abby. Well, I hope she slapped the out of you. I want you to read what you put on social media. We can't compete or give our skills to Abby if we witness bad behavior. We believe in setting bad behavior. Do you I, realize I was how rude you are? Abby, you'll be hearing from my attorney. I have a lot of them. You could possibly be interfering with my livelihood. There You're leaving go. now. Goodbye. I feel sorry for those three little girls. The oldest child truly has a wonderful gift, but she needs to know that you're not always going to do that level of difficulty when you're doing a show. It might be simple, easy peasy, and you have to do that equally well. I want kids who love what they're doing, and obviously these kids didn't, but I think their mother had a lot to do with that. Hi, can I help you guys? This is Nakaya. We're here to see Abby. Oh, She's yeah. expecting us. This is Nakaya. Hi, nice to meet you, sweetie. We're looking for a new studio yeah, to compete. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, how you doing? I was approached by Kaya and her daughter Nakaya after our dance concert. I had no idea who the woman was, but it turns out She's from St. Louis, from a very reputable teacher, a colleague of mine. So I'm going to check the kid out. That's the least I can do. You're Kaya. Kaya, this is Nikaya. Nikaya, hi. What are the girls looking at? There's someone here. She's inviting someone in. Do you want to get your shoes and your street clothes off? And I'm going to check her out a little bit. If you want to go up and sit with the moms, you're more than welcome to. Alrighty. I'm always looking to make my competition team stronger. Maybe this kid, Nikaya, and her mom are just what my team needs before nationals. There's certainly nothing like a surprise or two to wake everybody up. Hi. Hey, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm fine. Good. I'm Alyssa. What's your name? I'm Kaya. Kaya. Pretty name. Hi, Alyssa? I'm Holly. Nice Hi, to Holly. meet you. I'm Kelly. Kelly. Christy. Hello. hello. So where are you from? I'm from St. Louis. Oh, oh OK. You moved ah. here? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why Abby constantly insists on bringing new people in. It's bad enough when she brings people in from the studio that we know and have danced with. Now she's bringing a stranger in. I just think it's crazy. So what did you think of our dance concert? I mean, they're really, really talented. I mean, as far as technique goes, but as far as entertaining, I don't think it was really entertaining. It didn't have a lot of personality. Really? You know, I didn't think oh. so. The new mom comes upstairs, and she sits herself down, and she seems a little opinionated, to say the least. I think our kids are fabulous on stage. I mean, I, I have think to, they are, too. I, I wouldn't I, have brought her here if I didn't think you had fabulous dancers. I just think that they could use a little more personality, a little more divitude, and she has that. Divitude is just when you're born with it, when you just know you have it. No amount of technique or any type of training gives you that. I didn't think any of Abby's dancers had that. Divitude? Yeah, or not that's what divas. I call it. <laughs> What does it, your docket say? Black Fancy. I love that name, it's really pretty. You guys keep working, get that down pat. Come on over here to the bar. Let me see fifth position, Tondu. And let me see a Ronde Jean. I asked Nakaya to execute a few ballet steps. I wanna see if she has a foundation, if she knows her terminology. And can you spell Ron Dijon? You have to know the names of everything. We're really into terminology here. It's good that girls want to try out for our team, but I don't really want a new team member right now because I'm perfectly fine with all my friends. Do you do any acrobatics or gymnastics? No. None? Now I'm beginning to wonder about this girl. Is she for real? Is she an advanced student? Or is she just a recreation student? It goes once a week, whose mother's trying to get her onto a competition team. Second, second. She's gonna audition, or? I think she should just start choreographing a routine and just put her in it, because her testing to see how flexible she is is not really. There's a lot of other kids who want to dance on this team, so I don't know why she would just get to walk in and be on it when there's other kids who've had to go through auditions. Other kids don't have a resume like her. So I'm gonna call your mom down, okie doke. Well, Abby wants me to come down. Good luck. Good luck. I ain't scared of her. God, she's a loose can't. You never know what's coming well, out of her mouth. That's true. No matter how serious? nice, how mean. Your yeah. recital was boring, and every, all these kids need help to perform. She's not going to work on this team, girlfriend. She knows zero terminology. My kids are the whole package, not just little bits and pieces. 
When my kids leave here, they have a career, a livelihood, forever. I don't think that these spelling tests and all this other stupid dance terminology is relevant. What I personally want Abby to do is stick my daughter's damn dance CD in her and watch her dance. You're the professional. You've been doing this all this time. You create stars, so why would I question what you're saying? Yay! Hallelujah! We have a winner! Don't just discount Yay! her all the way. Can you come back tomorrow? Yes. So, come back for your in tomorrow. I'll have more time. I just heard her say. I heard her say tomorrow. come back tomorrow, but why? You don't get to just come and be on the team. Our girls are two weeks from nationals. Why Abby would ever consider adding a new girl to the team right now is beyond me. That does not make any kind of sense whatsoever. Just when I thought it couldn't get any crazier, it got crazier. So she wanted to know if you could spell Ron Jones, if you could spell dance terminology. What the hell does it have to do with dancing? She goes, do Ron Jean. Now, can you spell Ron Jean? I go, no. That is She knows that. She doesn't want to give you a chance, because I meant what I said. Her dancers have no personality. What do you have on now? Title jacket. So what difference does it make? We're going to play her game. We're going to go home tonight. We're going to learn this terminology. She's going to learn how to spell all these stupid-ass dance terms. And we're going to come back tomorrow and play the game Abby wants to play.